I'll read. It's week three of my value betting. Week one, we staked one pound. Week two, we staked two pound. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do for week three. Um, it's a brand new staking plan. It's not one pound. It's not two pound. I've got two words for you, and that is Kelly Criterion. Um, so if you haven't seen my previous videos on value betting, where have you been? You're late to the value betting party is all I can say. Um, we're getting right into this now. Um, if you haven't, seriously though, if you haven't seen the videos, go back and give them a watch. It'll give you some background into this one. Um, but to summarise, um, I've been using a system called Break and Bet for the last couple of, a week, couple of weeks. This is the third week we're coming into now. The first week I bet one pound stakes, the second week I bet two pound stakes. The first week, and these are numbers off the top of my head now without having the numbers up, uh, we got a 58.5% strike rate and made a profit, profit of 13, 14 pounds, um, which is an ROI of about 7%. And the second week, I upped the probability of the bets that were being um, given by break and bet to 60% Nova, 60% plus, and we ended up with a 61 or 62% um, strike rate, which was really good. However, the profit was only five pounds, um, and the ROI was about two percent. Again, still a profit, however, um, not as high as the previous week on less, well, a, a lower stake, a lower total stake, if you like. Um, so there was a couple of reasons for that which I went to in, in, into in the previous video, but I don't really want that happening again. Well, I don't. I want to try and emulate what we did done in week one, but I've been researching staking plans as well, and I've come up with um, Kelly Criteria. Now I had seen this staking plan, and I had looked at it, and I had a, um, done a little bit of investigation on it before I even saw that it was. Um, touted on the break and bet site. There's a lot, lot of nice information on the break and bet site about value betting and also different things you can do, including this page here, which I'm just looking at now, um, which I'm going to run through with you um, as a starter for 10. So um, basically, Kelly Criterion is a way to select um, the optimal bet amount, if you like. So where I've been putting one pound on the first week, two pound on the second, that was kind of just a percentage of my um, bank, and it was a fixed, a fixed stake. So regardless of what the bet was, I was putting a pound on week one. Regardless of what the bet was, I was putting two pounds on each stake, each bet on um, week two. Now. All that Kelly Criterion needs is uh, the probability which we get from break and bet. Um, if we go back, we'll see that. If we go back to previous videos, and I'll show you in this one, you get a probability of a bet um, happening. Um, week one, I set that to 55% plus, and week two, I set that to 60% plus. And then we need K, which is the bookmaker's coefficient, which effectively, and they call it coefficient on here, it effectively it's just the odds. Um, so an example here, Spartak, Spartak Dynamo in a football match, uh, the bookmaker gives you one odds of 1.7 for a specific event or st specific outcome. Um, looks like it's Spartak to win. Um, so the, and the probability based on the software that the spot I will win is 65%. So basically you apply those, you put those two numbers, 1.7 and your 65 into the formula, which is the formula here. It doesn't matter if you don't understand it, it doesn't really, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. You're just looking at the result. So you put those numbers into the formula and you end up with 0 0.15, which is effective, which, which is 15%. So that means according to Kelly's criteria, we have to put 15% um, of our bank onto that bet. So if we had a hundred pound bank, then we would put 15% on, which is 15 pounds. If we had a 200 pound bank and we put 15% on, that would be 30 pounds. 
and, and that's how it works. So obviously that's just an example and those numbers are a lot higher than what I've been putting at £1, £2. But I'm going to look at that in more detail. There is a little rule here whereby, um, I'll just highlight it there. Basically what that's saying, if this, if this formula is applied and it comes out as a negative number, then you don't put the bet on. Uh, you just simply don't put it on. And that can happen if, if, if the odds and the probability are certain. Uh, certain numbers um, and then um, all it goes on then to say is there's a bit about um, obviously if you're putting 15% of your bank on one bet and you lose a few bets you, 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 you're getting very close to um, blowing your bank bank up yourself basically from a, your bank point of view um, so what a lot of people um, apply is something called fractional Kelly, Kelly criterion and fractional Kelly criterion is just a fraction of this um, percentage so it's a fraction of your 15% or a fraction of this if you like um, and what I've also read on other sites not specifically on the breaking bet site I can't say anything about it but on other sites I've read that an optimal number is 15% of the value and it's just unfortunate that this calculation here works out with 15 percent but i will show you that in some examples i've i've been i've been reading a bit about it and an optimal number um to increase your profits on each bet and also um protect your bank basically you need to protect your bank at all costs because once once your bank broke then your bank goes down to zero from say my 200 pounds for example um, I need to go and find some more money to put in the bank to actually continue with this system. So you're always better off trying to protect your bank, but I will show you this in detail in some figures I'm going to show you now. Okay, so that's the slightly boring stuff out of the way. Hopefully I've given some kind of explanation and hopefully um, people can understand it. It takes a little while getting your head around, but... Basically, we're saying one pound or two pounds no good, so we're going to try and um, select an optimal number um, of pounds to put on each um, race. So, what I've actually done, and I've done this last week during week two, um, and it was just a little trial to see how Kelly Criterion would work, and so it took me a little bit longer because what I was doing, and you can see here, I bet 230 through the I go down this list. Bet two hundred and thirty through the two hundred and sixty. I actually recorded the probability and the odds of each um, bet, and I also worked out using Kelly Criterion. I used, I worked out, calculated the stake percentage, the stake in pounds, and the profit I would have seen if I'd actually staked thirteen pounds eighty five on that first bet. This is full. Kelly Criterion, or what I like to call it, you've got Kelly Criterion and Fractional Kelly Criterion. I just like to call it 100% Kelly Criterion, which is what this is. And I'll show you later on when we start looking at the fractional, because some of these numbers were scary, especially that bet there, um, for £111. So if you remember week one, I started off with a £200 bank. I just used that as, a, as, I just used that as a nominal number. And, and, by, and just to reiterate, these are bets I actually put on in week two. Um, I put 200 bets on in week one. I put 142 bets on in week two. So bets 201 through to 342 were all week two. And these are bets number 230 through to 260. I stopped doing it after about 30 just to try and get some data together. And in hindsight, I wish I'd gone on a little bit longer. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, but there's the bet number that was the probability for the bet when I actually put it on and that was the odds I got and that was the stake percentage worked out with Kelly criterion and that's the formula there and by the way I've just set up a buy me a coffee page just so I can host some uh, information away from YouTube um, and what I'll do is I'll strip this spreadsheet down and leave the formula in so you can apply this as well if you want to and it doesn't need to be it doesn't even need to be sort of this it doesn't need to be break and bet or value bet and it can be used for anything with Kelly criteria 
and also just to mention there's a couple of apps I've noticed at least on the Google Play Store because I use Android um, there's a couple of apps which will do the calculation for you so there's a Kelly Criterion um, calculator if you just do a search on on the app store on you, you know whether it's google or apple do a search and you'll be able to download the kelly criterion app because you could just probably put it in the app while you're placing your bets anyhow that's the formula there put in i've validated this against um, the calculator i've just mentioned uh, you can get them online as well on the web um, but an app's probably handier because you can just get it up on your phone that's the formula there. So on this one here, probability of 60% of this bet um, winning, odds of 1.75. Plug those two numbers in and it comes out with you should be betting 6.92% of your bank. So 6.92% of my £200 bank is £13.85. All these, all these forward um, numbers are always based on the £200. I was just planning on updating the bank each week rather than just having a running bank and just um, faffing on like that because I'd have to then as bets won and lost and this bank went up and down um, these numbers would change but I had a little bit more than 200, and 200 in anyway because I'd won £14 in the first week it's a virtual bank anyway because the money split across bookies um, across about f I'm using about 5 bookies I think or 6 um, so anyhow, um, so that would dictate that I would put um, a stake of £13.85 on this um, first bet. Now the profit for that would have been £10.39 if A had put it on and B it had won. And then along here I've actually recorded um, whether it did win or lose. So you can see all the W's and L's here and this, there might be a couple of R's in for uh, refunds or voids. So in this instance, on this one, I would have won £10.39. Happy days. Um, I did actually put, this This is me actual activity, which you know from a previous video, the, me last video. Um, I actually put £2 on and won £1.50. But if I put £13 on, I would have had a profit of £10.39. So I'll just move on to the second one, just so you fully understand and um, just explain this one. So this one, the odds were 2.5. Now that's the highest odds I've got breaking bets set to. So it'll only find bets up to 2.5 odds. And that's the highest I can get. And then because the probability of the bet winning was so high, 62.32, that combined with that meant the formula calculated out. I should be putting 37.2% of my bank on, which is £74.40. Now, and I don't think even this week or next week I'd have the kahunas to do that. I certainly ain't. That's the problem, I think, with 100% Kelly Cry to you. And just from my simplistic terms, just looking at it to start, you know, I'm just pretty new to it myself. Are you going to bet £74 of your £200 bank? Typically, I've got about 10 or 20 bets on at any one time anyway, pending and outstanding, waiting to be played. So... I don't think I would have had £74. But anyway, if I had the balls, I would have put £74 on that with a potential profit of £111.60. And it actually won, so I would have actually won £111.60. However, I put me £2 on and I won 3 quid. So anyway, that's the list there. You can see all the winners and all the lo losers, so I'll just go through a loss. So yeah, this one was a £10.39 bet. I would have got a £7.55 profit and I would have lost the £10.39 stake because that bet did lose and here you can see I actually put £2 on and I lost £2. Okay so that, that's how it goes. You can see the you can see the stakes down here, the percentages. That was by far the highest by the way so it was an obscure one. It, it was just because the odds were way over 2 and that, you can see there's not many times I get on anything where the odds are over 2. 2 has been nearly the highest. Um, when the odds are so high, the probability normally isn't, and that's why you don't tend to get on them. However, you can see that the stakes, there was like nine, seven, six, a lot of them were under a tenner, there's 492 there. And if I just go down the list, this one here you can see in yellow, there's, um, there's three yellow in total. Um, this one here, this is the Kelly Cry to you and formula applying and if you remember earlier I said if it comes out as negative you wouldn't put the bet on so there I've just said under Kelly criterion I wouldn't have put the bet on but because I was doing two pounds standard stakes I put the bet on I won one pound six 
So long here, I just recorded whether these three won or lost. Two won, one lost. Um, but these three bets I did, I wouldn't have put a bet on. So I've just put zeros in the state and profit for the Kelly Criterion section, which is this part. So you can see out of the, th there's about 30 bets here. Um, oh, two were, I'll explain these two. Two were abandoned. Um, it was one game, actually. It was one match, but it was two different bets on the same match. And the, the match was a friendly that was abandoned. So it just got a refund on that. Uh, just got your money back. I think there was no lights or something to play the match. I'm not even sure if it kicked off or not. Um, but I was abandoned, so the bets were void. So I've got zero in here for the £2 bets out of place because that was refunded. And I've just put an R in here as well to say they were refunded if I'd actually put those on under Kelly Criterion. Oh. What this all means is um, I would have put under Kelly Criterion, I would have put £420.47 pence worth of stakes on. And I would have actually made a profit of £201.31, which is nearly half of the stakes. Whereas, in fact, what I did do, because I'm a sensible lad, is I put £56 worth of bets on, and I'm <laughs> not so sensible, only won £10. I mean, £10 profit out of £56 stake is still very good. But you can see the difference. Yeah, this is about a fifth. Um, 10 and 56 quid, actually, it's about... Uh, one and six, isn't it? So it's a bit, it's a bit more than it. Say eighty percent if you said ten out of fifty. But this is getting on for nearly half. Two hundred and one pound profit, out of forty one pound investment. Uh, four hundred and twenty one pound investment. Sorry. Now, there is a caveat to all that in the fact that um, these thirty bets were uncannily uh, successful, and I'll just go down the bottom of this to show you first. Should have put this further up, but I've just passed the, some of that information. But you can see I won 17 and lost 6 out of 23. Two were abandoned, which was 25, and three we didn't get on because they didn't qualify in the Kelly criteria, which means winning 17 out of 23 meant we had a strike rate of 73.91%, which is really high. Um, week one, we had 58%. Week two, we had 62%. It just so happens uh, this must have been a purple patch during week two because this is obviously 30 bets within week two out of the 142 I've put on. I've got a strike rate of 73, but obviously we finished that week on about 61, 62%. So if I go down, I'll just hide that Kelly fractional for a moment, just so I don't complicate things. So I'll go down, look at the Kelly, which is 100% uh, Kelly criterion. We've staked 421.47. There was 25 bets, two were void. The profit, for the it's not the week profit that's that's a bit of a mistake it's the sort of um data set profit the 30 bet profit 201 pound um the average stake we put on um, was 16 pounds 86 per bet compared to the two pound bet i was putting on and the return on investment was a whopping 47.76 percent which was the 201 pounds um, divided by the 421. Um, so that told me i'm definitely going to benefit from using kelly criteria and especially if i make a profit so you see i've made a profit here i'm going to make a better profit here however the main concern I had was a 73% uh, strike rate because I don't think it'll stay that, it certainly, it shouldn't, well, it didn't stay that high, put it that way, because it ended up on 62, 63 for the week. Um, 73 is exceptionally high, so it's like nearly three out of four bets. You, I was winning during those 30, 30 bets. So what I've done along here is I've tried to do something a bit rational by saying, well, okay, um, what about if we'd only seen 55% return or, you know, we saw 58% return in the first week, we saw 60% return, strike rate, sorry, not return. We saw 55, 58.5% strike rate in the first week, we saw 60, low 61, 62% in the second week. How about if I, I sort of manipulate these figures to show that reduction? So what I've done there, I've taken um, the 73% down here, down the bottom. 
and I've taken it off the 55 and that gives you a surplus of 18.91 so I've just rounded that up to 20 percent um, so I'm saying right okay instead of 73.91 percent why don't we look at these figures based on you know hitting more of a real more of a realistic 55 percent and basically I just took 20 percent off so you can see yeah, on this number here 161 I've just multiplied h3 38 which is the 201 pounds profit for the week I've just said well show me 80 percent of it so I've taken 20 percent of that off to compensate for what I'm thinking is over and I'm probably going a little bit low here but I'm thinking along the lines well if we do only hit 50 or 55 percent then let's let's have a look at the numbers anyway so instead of 201 pounds profit we would have only got 161 pounds profit and it still works out as a massive 38 percent return on investment so out of that 421 stake if we'd had a few more losses in the list of 30 bets we would have still um if we'd come out with and about 53% strike rate, we would have still got £161 profit. Just in simple terms, um, if you've got any questions at all, put in the comments. I think the takeaway from the Kelly criteria on 100% is that if you optimise the stakes and you prepare to put that amount in, we've ended up with a 47.76% return on investment there, whereas for the same bets, roughly the same number, we put a few more on here actually. For the same number of bets, and I know we only put fifty-six pounds on, but we only that only works out at about eighteen percent return on investment compared to forty-seven, and that's the difference. You're changing your eighteen percent ROI into a forty-seven percent ROI. I hope that explains it for you. Finally, moving on to the Kelly fractional. Um, obviously, start off with a £200 bank. I've staked 421 It's not that feasible. I mean, obviously, you're getting the bets winning and coming back in, but what if we'd lost a lot more? What if we'd lost more than we'd won? I didn't have £421 to stake, effectively. So, and also, would I've wanted to stake that much? You saw the £111 winnings on a £74 bet. Not that comfortable doing that kind of bet at the moment, especially when I'm still just trialling this software. So what you can do with Kelly Criterion, instead of the 100% where we're staking 421, you apply fractions to it. So if I just go up a little bit and have a look at a bet that we did put on. So this one here, for example, the stake of £31.44. And that's saying stake 15%. And what you do is you can say, right, okay, instead of doing 31, instead of staking £31.44 on this bet, I'll, I'll apply Kelly Fractional. And if you wanted to apply, say, 50%, you would just do half. If you wanted to do, do if you wanted to apply, so you'd put like 15, 16 pounds on that one. If you wanted to apply Kelly fractional 25%, you would just multiply this by a quarter or 0.25 and you would end up with, as my maths, just under 8 quid. Um, it's more palatable, especially when you're setting off, um, and I'm going to show you how that works down below here. So if we'd applied Kelly fractional at 50%, what I'm saying, yeah, instead of all the 30, well, 25 bets that we put on that added up to £421.47, we would have only put bets on to the value of £210, which is 50% of that. We would have still put 25 bets on, um, but we'd have put half of the stakes on in the column E there that you've seen above, uh, which means the profit would have suffered by half as well, and um, so we would have had well, instead of £201 profit we would have only have seen £100.65 profit. The return on investment is exactly the same because you're just using a lower stake um, so your return on investment doesn't change. Um, what does change though is your average stake value so um, obviously week one I was putting one pound on, week two I was putting two pound on. I've got to think about week three what am I comfortable with now, um, probably not that because it's still an average of £8.43 per bet, which isn't too bad, 
I haven't got a problem with that. Um, but I think I'd rather keep it lower. So then if you look at the fra Kelly fraction of 25%, and you can apply any fraction you want between 1 and 100. Um, obviously 1's a very low and, and 100's just what we've already looked at here. Um, but if you look at 25%, we would have put stakes total in £105 on during the week. Well, I did actually put stakes of £56 on. I'm sorry, I keep saying week. It's just a sample set of 30-ish 30, uh, bets. I did actually put £56 on. So this was like a just a little, well, a little bit less than double um, at Kelly Fractional 25. So we would have put £105 on and we would have made a profit of £50, which is still our 47.76%. But we would have then only been staking an average of £4.21 per bet. And then what I have read, which I think I've already mentioned, is that um, there's a an optimal number I've read about, which is 15%. And I've highlighted in yellow because that's what I'm going to go with for week three. And the reason being, and I'll go through it now, is my total stake for those bets would have been £63.22. pence, And I actually did stake in real life last week, I did stake £56 on those 28, 25, 28, 30 bets. Um, so that's only about £7 more. The profit, though, I would have seen a £2 stakes. And... Also important, you can see the average bet there. The average stake would have been two pound fifty three. Well, I was putting two pound on anyway, so I was I've been I would have been more than happy to put two pounds fifty three on each bet last week and come away with a thirty pound profit because as it happens, I put two pounds on each bet and come away with a ten pounds profit on those um, thirty bets. I actually only got five pound profit from last week. If you watch the video, that's because like I say this. This group of 30 bets is a bit of a purple patch with getting 73%. So there's a bit of a caveat to this whole sort of calculation and logic in this video. If you have any questions whatsoever about this, then uh, drop, hit me up in the comments and I will get back to you as best I can. If you've got any better advice as well, I'm more than happy to hear it because I'm obviously just starting off on this as well. If I just quickly go into breaking bet before we close off and... Um, just have a look at a value bet here. I'll just show you if there's any live. Um, hopefully there'll be one or two. So here we've got the probability of that. So I'll just move myself out of the way there. So all we're seeing here is in the first half, you need to look at the bet probably, but in the first half we will put a bet on a draw or an away win. So we're looking at Varbergs or a draw at the end of um, the first half and we're doing that bet on bet 365. The overvaluation is 2%, so we're getting 2.02% value there. But more importantly, what we need for Kelly criteria, you can see the probability there is 74.85% of that actually happening. And the odds you should be looking at is 1.363. So those two numbers would slot into Kelly criteria. I'll just jot those down so don't forget them when I change screen, because I always do. 1.363. So if I go back to my spreadsheet I've just been showing you, and we'll just quickly go up to the top. Oops. Um, I'll just put I'll just plug the numbers into this bet here. Um, so the probability was 74.85, and the odds were 1.363. Um, so we should be putting 5%, 5 percent, 5.57 percent of our stake on, and we should be putting 11 pounds on. Now, because I'm only going to do, I'm going to create another, another couple of columns in here. So I'm going to put in the 15% because I'm doing a fractional 15%. If I just put in this notes field, if I just um, multiply that stake by 0.15, we can see that I should be putting one pound six. We'll round that up one pound 67 on that, and happy to do that. So. The only problem I have got, I might, when I said put another couple of columns in, I might have to round that because I'm not too comfortable putting, I've escaped two weeks without being gubbed by putting two pound, £1, pound, £2 pound bets on, hundreds of bets on with bet 365. I'm not too comfortable with starting putting like £1.67, £1.23, £3.24, 
£6.59 bets on. So yeah, I'm thinking of rounding them up to the nearest 50 pence or a pound. The only problem with a pound, if it's like £1.51, it's going to round it up to two quid, which is what I've been betting anyway. But um, I'm going to have a little look into that, so you'll see in my week three video, which will come out at the end of end of well at the end of this week, start of next week. That'll come out and you'll see exactly what I've done. I'll explain what I've done. I just need to get my head around whether I, I don't whether I should be putting these like obscure amounts on or not. I would like to, but I think it's just you are just um going in a straight line down the highway to Gubbsville there, I think. Um round them up and down might be the best bet. I might round them up and down at the nearest twenty five pence. 150 175 two quid it might not be as bad it's just when you're putting like 225 on or 425 it still seems a bit fishy but um i'll see on that one but that's the plan for week three that's what we're gonna do hope everything's been explained here like i say anything you want to know put it in the comments and i'll get back to you um here's to a successful week three and i shall see you uh, at the end of the week on how we've got on Okay, thanks now. Bye.